There are two uh, Trumpsters on the Wayne County Board of uh, of canvassers, I guess. Basically, the County Board of Elections, if you will. And um, two of them, William Hartman and Monica Palmer, decided that they were going to vote against certifying the vote coming out of Wayne County. Wayne County has um, uh, houses Detroit, if you will, or Detroit sits in Wayne County. Yes, and Trump supporters uh, and Trump lackeys were targeting it for no specific reason. No specific reason at all. For instance, like here's Wayne Hartman's uh, Facebook um, post from 2010 uh, found by Quentin Wilbur or Del, uh, Del Quentin Wilbur. Uh, you know, just a classic uh, break stuff, steal things. Here's uh, Barack Obama, pirate, smoking a cigarette. Oh, here he is, Obama, Muslims, and NASA. I'm only interested in learning how to fly it, not land it. That, incidentally, is what um, the uh, 9-11 attackers told uh, their flight attend- uh, their flight instructors down at the flight school that they were at in Florida. And here it is, Michigan, Detroit. Kwame made my license plate. That was the former mayor of Detroit. Um, so these, you know, those are, those are, I, I don't know. I don't know what that tells you about, uh, William Harvey. He's just a guy who likes to have fun on yeah, Facebook. Yeah. 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 I mean, he just is really interested in D minus memes that remove Barack Obama's teeth for no discernible reason. And don't forget he used to smoke cigarettes, which means. Can't hood. trust he's him. A hood. Just, just, he's a hood. He's yeah, a hood. Yeah. He he's in the hood. And, um, and so, um, the, Hartman and Monica Palmer decided like that they thought there was something suspicious about what happened in Detroit. Now, by all other metrics, there were plenty of other places. And they said the rest of uh, the rest of the county is all fine. But but this just quickly, this is clearly signaling from what Trump has now said publicly, where he singled out Detroit. He singled out Philadelphia. He singled out other cities that are predominantly black. Very little to say about Pittsburgh or a city like that, which is an urban center that I guess kind of colloquially has the uh, perception of being whiter. Nothing there. But so they're taking basically marching orders from Trump's talking points about Detroit. Um, And so they they refused to certify. We saw the video where uh, Kaylee McEnany and uh, Sean Henney celebrated. They thought this is going to uh, win Michigan for him. And um this guy, Ned Stabler, who was on the Wayne County Board of Canvassers, gets on the Zoom call and basically says, like, OK, this is this is what is called. And, and when he does this, he thinks he's lost. He thinks that it, the, the ship has sailed. Mm-hmm. They refuse to certify. It goes up to the state. The can, state can't certify. And, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with the electors from the state and this and that. And this guy says, basically, on this Zoom call, you're going to do this. I'm going to make you pay a price. This is what, this dynamic. I want you to think about this dynamic because this is what Democrats should have been doing. Every time they lose a battle, you exact a cost. I don't think Ned Stabler thought he was going to win this fight. I think he was just basically saying, like, you're going to pay for this win that you're going to get. It's going to you're going to take uh, essentially blood money, as it were, metaphorically speaking. People are going to know it's blood money. Play this clip on the Zoom. It's really uh, uh, unbelievable. Um, We also know that the Secretary of State and the Attorney General have already uh, tweeted out that your legal arguments are rubbish and you're going to lose when it comes to court. So we're not worried about that uh, at all. I'm also not worried about any of your, oh, things are, are bad so we can't certify arguments because that's just ridiculous. You certified in August when they were worse. Less than 50% of the ballots were recountable. Now over 72% are. Uh, 58% of them were even balanced when it was less than 30% last time. So it's doubled. It's gotten way better because the Secretary of State actually jumped in and did her job, unlike you. But I know it's not going to change your opinion. Um, you talked about not certifying Detroit, even though you acknowledge that Livonia, a city, by the way, I know you know is 95% white, had bigger variances than Detroit, which is 80% black. We understand. And you now added your name. So I, I'm not going to try to change your mind. I just want to let you know that the Trump stick, the stain of racism that you, William Hartman and Monica Palmer, have just been covered yourself in is going to follow you throughout history. Your grandchildren 
are going to think of you like Bull Connor or George Wallace. Monica Palmer and William Hartman will forever be known in southeastern Michigan as two racists who did something so unprecedented that they disenfranchised hundreds of thousands of black voters in the city of Detroit because they were ordered to. Probably, I know, Monica, you think Q told you to do it or some other crazy stuff like that. But just know when you try to sleep tonight that millions of people around the world now on Twitter know the name Monica Palmer and William Hartman as two people completely racist and without an understanding of what integrity means or a shred of human decency. You, the law isn't on your side. History won't be on your side. Your conscience will not be on your side. And Lord knows, when you go to meet your maker, your soul is going to be very, very warm. Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, the end of the story is, that they basically came to some resolution where they're going to do perform some performative audit of the yeah. votes. Um, and uh, they certified the election, uh, yeah. essentially. And um, I love that he pointed out historical context because it's amazing to me how we learn about these things in history class and like <laughs> there are villains and there are people on the right side. and But nobody in current times think about thinks about themselves in those contexts or like understands their place in history and how things will be looked back upon. I mean, I think that's important to impress upon people, even though it may not change anything. It's just this people don't, it doesn't register with them. You know, as I'm watching that, I'm thinking who, who is it going to be? Certainly I can name the people on the right. And I'm curious as the people who are sort of like on the nominal left, who are going to say like this is cancel culture this mm-hmm. is cancel culture run amok this is the weaponizing of the idea like are they go, right i mean michael tracy right, like, right, says right white supremacist right, violence right, isn't a real problem or right whatever. this is i mean it, you know like that's that's what's gonna be like this is bullying yeah in fact the i don't want to say the innovators of that model um but the most prestigious uh people who who deployed that was Antonin Scalia on the Supreme Court when they gutted the Voting Rights Act. Mm -hmm. And they said that the reason why it was authorized, this is in 2013, the reason why it was reauthorized by the Senate. Interpreting things, by the way, which is what you're not supposed to do. In 2007, the Senate, I think it was 98 to zero or something to that effect, reauthorized the Voting Rights Act. And... In addition to like John Roberts and and, and Scalito, the both of them, uh, <laughs> uh, saying that you know racism is basically over, Scalia justified the reauthorization by saying they were afraid, they were afraid of being called racists, and that's why they did it. That's why they reauthorized it because they were just too afraid of something like what we just saw happening. And there's definitely going to be a take that like. They've deployed the attack, the, the worst thing you could say about somebody, that they're racist on them to get them to take black people's votes seriously. Which, by the <laughs> way, is potentially holding your representatives accountable for not being racist. Exactly. That's part of it. That's part of like the whole purpose of having elected officials. I mean, I don't know if you want to play this, but I really like the Detroit uh, NAACP heads uh, yelling at them, the Michigan County officials as well. Yeah. Because that was cathartic too. Let's play this clip. This is also a part of the response of the attempt by the Wayne County Board of Can- uh, Canvassers to decertify the vote and discount the vote of hundreds of thousands of, of black folk in Detroit. You look at black cities, you have extracted a black city out of a county and said the only ones that are at fault at an issue is the city of Detroit, where 80% of the people who reside here are African Americans. Shame on you. Shame on you for leading to this level of corruption. You have disavowed your right to even sit in the seats that you occupy. You are a disgrace as relates to the ability to have a free and impartial election in this nation. You have uh hard to argue yeah hard to argue i just those that 
the level of catharsis there reminded me of, I believe it was the Los Angeles um, hearings on policing where people just ripped into them like earlier this year. Do you remember? I don't think I saw that. Oh, I mean, uh, I forget this one um, like caller basically said, suck my dick and choke on it. (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) Touche. Anyway. it would have been better if we had the uh, video of the people that he was at. They were actually, you know, chastising. But uh, unfortunately, Zoom is I behind again. Uh, you want to see the faces.